Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. We are here in our little zoo and I did some more staff management. Um, if we take a look, you can see we started at Zookeeper 16 now. Um, <laughs> I fired all the zookeepers and while the game was paused, I fired all the zookeepers, hired new zookeepers and assigned them to the correct exhibits. Um, the reason I wound up with an extra zookeeper last time is because I forgot to assign one to the elephants, which I noticed in editing. So I wanted to fix that. And then I, while I was editing, I noticed a bunch of zookeepers were having trouble getting to their exhibits. I think because they were like originally assigned over here and then I wanted them like over here. Uh, so I just fired everyone and started fresh. So we have all new zookeepers and they're all assigned to two exhibits except the zookeepers in charge of the cheetahs and the ones in charge of this exhibit exhibit here because I want them to be available for this exhibit and then I think the zookeeper for this exhibit also just has one assignment because this one is empty at the moment so yeah we got to figure that out too because this one's empty because I moved the wolves um so we have a couple things to figure out today so we need to figure out what goes in here here and then if we need to we'll create a new exhibit here but first, I want to take a look at... Uh-oh, an African warthog has died. Luckily, there's a shit ton of them. Um, take a look at this exhibit. Clear it all out. And start on the rainforest animals. So let's see. That would be a mandrill... And they are rainforest. So let's go ahead and put in rainforest floor. Just cover the whole thing. And then we can edit it from there. Because I'm going to assume that they don't don't want any other kind of forest floor. Oh, Red Kangaroo 3 has died. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm also worried about the mandrel being able to escape. So let's try these. Which, there we go. Okay. Interesting. Um, that'll work. <laughs> I have so many unnecessary fences in this suit, but it's fine. It's all fine. Let's see if the mandrels even like it in here. More animals of the same type. Let's not add a chimpanzee. Do we still need more animals? No. And is it the right size? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, foliage, not enough grass, too much rainforest floor, more rocks, not enough dirt. Okay, so we need dirt and grass. I can do that. Um, do we need water? No. Okay. So I guess we'll just start dirt up here by the door. And then we'll put grass next to it. Okay. So we can start this. How much grass do you like? Not that much. Okay. <laughs> um... So foliage, rocks, and shelters. What kind of shelters do the mandrels like? I'm guessing just like a wooden one? You chill with that? I guess so. Okay. So then let's start with the rocks. Because there's some really cool um, like jungle rock formations that I'm into. And they like that one. And that one. And that one. Not that one, though. Are we full up on rocks yeah i think we are okay so what kind of foliage do they like the elephant ear tree we can do that i assume let's see yes i'm really surprised they don't want any water i mean it's fine it's not my place to be like you need water in your exhibit girl but like kind of surprised most animals like water in their exhibit um, there? Alright, you guys have got to be almost full on foliage by now, right? 
Ooh, you have been given the gold plaque award excellent in exhibit design for displaying at least one animal in a highly suitable exhibit. This award comes with a small cash bonus of 15,000. Is that the first time we've earned that? <laughs> I thought I was doing good on all these exhibits. Oh, oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, um, let's see what zookeepers assigned to the bear exhibit and change this to mandrill mandark don't know why i thought of that oh girl you don't have to type it twice okay does anyone remember mandark from dexter's lab interesting character anyway um let's get a zookeeper in there Let's see who is on the black bears. Or it was the Saros. Okay, so they can go here. Cool. So now we have all three types of forest and the grasslands in this little block here. So that's kind of neat. Um, I need to see who's going to fit in here. I do not believe it is the chimpanzees. I think they need a pretty decent... Not the gorillas. Maybe an okapi? Let's try it. Let's put a male and a female Okapi in there and see if this is big enough. Foliage, more rocks, dirt. Yes. Okay, cool. So we need more grass, too much grass, not enough rainforest floor, not enough dirt. So they don't like water either. Maybe the rainforest animals aren't used to having standing water because there's just water everywhere in rainforest. I don't know. That kind of doesn't make sense to me. But it's fine. Um... So let's get them a rainforest floor. Or actually, let's start with the dirt. Once again, we'll put it here where the entrance is. So it kind of looks like someone's coming in here. And then we'll do rainforest floor. Let's keep this open. I have a feeling we're going to use a lot of this brush because they are rainforest animals. Not grassland animals. And now I can't see. There we go. It's hard up against the wall. Let's just hurry and get rid of that. Do they not like grass at all? Oh, no, they do like some. Okay. Um... Not enough grass, too much rainforest. Oh. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Whatever, I'll copy. Let's get them their shelter. I'm going to assume they like that one. They do. And then let's put foliage in. I don't think they like a ton of foliage. They like the rainforest bush. Which is this one. I don't think they like tons. I could be wrong. I'm still like aghast that we just got that like gold standard exhibit award because I thought I was doing so good for all these exhibits. Um, more rocks. Let's do this one and that one. Oh, okay. We're good. Um, who was going to take care of the Okapis? Oh, I'm going to have to look at my zookeeper list. Um, the gray wolf exhibit. I think it's this zookeeper. So let's assign them here and remake this to be... Oh, gods. The Okapi exhibit. Cool. Okay, so that fills up the empty exhibits we were looking at. And it's all just random forest animals. So I think here we can put chimps. And it'd be good to kind of put them at the back because I think they're fairly popular as well. Um, we're just going to have to switch this to the concrete with glass because I'm pretty sure chimpanzees can get out of bars. Oh, God. Undo... So we'll replace this and do that. Okay, the chimp exhibit is in place. Let's move the fence here and put two chimps in. I think this is big enough. Oh, that's a gorilla. 
<laughs> Sorry. This should be big enough. More animals of the same type. Maybe I can get two mating pairs. Oh, that didn't seem good. Well, I think that's fine. Okay. So too much, not enough rainforest, too much grass, not enough rainforest floor, not enough dirt. Okay. So once again, dirt by the door because we don't have any water. So we're going to put all the dirt here and be aware of when they stop. Okay. So then let's do the rainforest floor in the back. We'll have the grass up front. Alrighty. I'm surprised this is big enough, honestly. Why are the African warthogs not happy? I'm just now seeing those notifications. Oop. Okay, um, foliage, rocks, shelters. The chimpanzees, are they okay with a wooden shelter? I don't think there's anything. Panda, rock cave, large giraffe shelter, elephant, stable. I don't want, want like, rock caves, I'm pretty sure. So let's try this. Hello? Oh, there's animals there. Oopsie. Come here, you. I just remember that you can double-click to pick up animals. I was just highlighting them and then picking them up from the thing, and I just innately did it. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I do have some form of muscle memory. Okay, so there's that. Um, Rocks. Let's do these. Okay, is that enough rocks? Yeah, they just need foliage. What do the chimps like? <sighs> You're not going to give me any hint for your foliage. I know you like chimpanzee bars. What's this? Gorilla climbing bars. Anything else for chimps? Large chimpanzee bars. We can afford that. Is that going to be enough toys? It is. Okay, so now we have to guess about the foliage. Cool. My favorite. They like this. We'll put three of those. Do they like the orchid tree? Yes. Put three of those. Do they like the elephant ear tree? Yes. We'll put three of those. Do they like the rainforest fern? They don't. Do they like the Rufflesia? Yes. Put a few of those in. What's this? The giant ficus tree. They like that too. The foxtail palm? Nope. The durian tree? Yes. The mangrove tree? Probably not, yeah. Oh, okay. We're good on foliage, I think. Can I put this stump anywhere? Yeah. Okay, now I think we're good. Okay. Um, we are going to need a new zookeeper, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. Zookeeper 31 is full. Who's taking care of the unicorns? Nobody. Good job, Matt. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh, no, that's not unicorns. Oh, I haven't placed the unicorns yet. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we're going to put unicorns here next to the chimps. Okay, this is getting very jumbled, but it's fine. This is all fine. All right. You're assigned to them. Okay. Um, uh, what is going on with the warthogs? There's so many notifications. Is there too many of you again? Too many animals, not big enough, not enough shelters. Yes. Okay. So let's take a look at these warthogs. God, they breed fast. Someone mentioned, I think on Reddit, that um, the warthogs were like their 
money maker because they breed so much you can just keep selling them again and again and again oh my gods okay we all um so nine is the oldest she's probably gonna die soon let's work our way back i guess yeah these breed like crazy okay this is probably my only population that's like sustainable <laughs> Which is sad. I think in the next zoos I'm going to build, which I think I'm going to do off camera, I want to just, like, play around and play with the game and not necessarily... Oh, can I undo that? I can. Not necessarily record it. Oh, no, they're just going to have to deal with it. And um, just kind of show you guys the end result. Be like, look at this zoo I made. Because this has been a lot. <laughs> and I don't want it to go on for like forever. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can we handle 12? No. Because um, like Zoo Tycoon is fun. But watching it for like... Here's part 300. I don't I don't think that's going to be fun. And it's not really fun for me. Um, so I'm just going to build some themed zoos off camera when I'm done with this one. And then be like, here's episode whatever. Look at this African zoo I built. It has all of the animals. Uh-oh. Like a mate. Um, it has all of the animals from Africa in it. And look at this cool food court I designed. Um, you know, stuff like that. Because I can take more time, like dilly-dallying and making sure things are correct when I'm off camera okay I need to be careful about selling males so let's sell some females and this should be fine hmm So, let's see. Male. Female. Male. Female. Male. Female. Okay, that should be good enough, right? <sighs> They'll be fine with more shelters than necessary. Okay. Um... Do we have time to do the unicorns? Yeah, we do. Okay. Because I had to fix those warthogs. They were so... There was so much spam from them being unhappy. I had to do something. Um, how big do I think the unicorn exhibit should be? That's a very interesting question. Um, I don't know, actually. I know it needs to be bigger than 9 by 9 fairly certain of that um oh the chimps are already breeding good i don't know how big i wonder if a 10 by 10 would do it um possibly one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 because I know they need more than a 9x9. Nine nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or I guess I should just go 12x12 12 12 if we're going to do because that's the size we've been doing. So 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Pretty sure that... Oh, fuck me. Ugh. <laughs> One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, my gods. Ugh, this game sometimes. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the unicorn exhibit. I am wondering if you guys can hear that thunder outside. I didn't know there was a storm here. <laughs> I hope that my computer does not turn off. That would be very bad. 
All right, let's see. More foliage, humus grass, not enough fresh water, deciduous floor, more rocks. Okay, so this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so fresh water, deciduous floor, too much grass. Do we need dirt? No. So we'll just put the water at the back of the exhibit. Or actually, let's do two by two. Okay. Then they need deciduous forest floor. Which is down. Yeah. Let's start back here. And get it all around... Here. So the grass will be up front. Because I think they do like grass. I think. That would make sense to me. And they should bring a lot of traffic back here. Them and the chimps should be good for the zoo and bringing people back here. I remember the unicorns need a sh shit ton of foliage. Like, almost to the point where you can't see them. So that's going to be fun. Do they... Okay, they do like grass. And now I think I covered up some, which is fabulous. Okay, we're good. Um, foliage, rocks, shelters. So let's get them their shelters. Let's just do a stable, because I think it looks cool. They don't like that. Okay. Do you want a wooden one? They do. All right. And then deciduous rocks are a thing. And they like that one. Is that the only one you want? No. Yes. Okay. So, what kind of foliage do the unicorns like? Japanese maple trees. We s probably have those. Yes. All right, let's turn this around so I can see what I'm doing a little bit more. After I built the entire exhibit, you know. As you do. But I remember they really like trees. Let's place trees in the corners. And then I'm... Oh. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, cool. So the exhibit's well suited. Now I think we can just get the chimpanzee zookeeper. Yeah. And assign them to the unicorns so they'll be taken care of. Well, cool. Hopefully this will bring people up here. Um, and it is on the main drag. So if people want to see the unicorn, they can just literally walk straight to them. So that's good. Um... Our little zoo is growing so quickly. I'm so happy. Uh, all of the forest exhibits are a little jumbled, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I try to do my best. And I think they still look okay. It's not as like clean cut as the savanna, but it still looks nice. I'm very happy with this zoo, how it's going so far. Um, aside from like a lot of the exhibits being small and not being able to support breeding populations and things like that, that's not my favorite. But it kind of is what it is. In the next zoos I build, I'm going to try and give them like sprawling exhibits and really tailor them to what they like and give them cool land features and things like that. Um, but for right now, we are just trying to fit all of the animals in and see if we can do it because we have so much space. Um, so that's the goal. So we're going to try and get that done. But um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I'm going to leave you here. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.